you know what I thought? And again, um, you've got to take advantage of your opportunities. And I thought we did early and uh, scored a couple power play goals. And um, and then I thought we we killed penalties real well. Um, we had a lot of guys sacrificing for them uh, for the greater good of all. I thought they did a good job at uh, giving up on themselves um, so that we could. You know, pucks didn't a lot of pucks didn't get to the net tonight because our guys were blocking them. And I think that's probably one of the one of the best ways you can show your teammates uh, where your head's at. Cole gets another shutout for you know, and and his eleventh. And you know, what what do you think he's kind of meant over that time? I mean, he's had to be he hasn't always seen a lot of shots, but he's kind of been consistent when he's had to be. So. Great teammate. You know, um, as I'm sure if you talk to him tonight, um, he'll be the first one to give credit to his team. He's, he's just a, he's a consummate teammate, uh, steady. Uh, not a lot of peaks and valleys with him, which I can tell you as a coach is, is nice to see from a goaltender. Um, and it's, it's great to have him get that. It's a really an outstanding accomplishment. Um, not a lot of, I, I was going to say here, the, the, as far as his, his play um, tonight, he didn't necessarily see the, you know, the breakaway type of situations that, that he did last night, but were there some moments tonight you thought he kind of held you guys in there pretty good? I thought late, you know, um, and he when he, he talked to the guys after uh, they congratulated him on the shutout, and, you know, he, I'm not exactly how he put it, but it was, hey, I didn't have to see too many shots. Well, really until the end there. <laughs> um, uh, but he's, uh, you know, um, he makes saves, and, and for us, it's not – Last night it was the timely saves, mm -hmm. you know, breakaways and outnumbered rushes. And then tonight I thought he just he played a very calm game and um, did what he needed to do. Three goals in two games uh, for Zeb Knudsen to start the season. I think he had eight coming into the year. Mike, just a natural progression for a, a kid who's uh, pretty talented offensively. You know what? He's had, you're right there where he's, he's had a history of scoring goals um, going all the way back to I think when he was playing in Kansas City for Russell Stover and then in the USHL in Sioux Falls, uh, he's always put up some pretty good numbers uh, on the goal side. And we need those guys to do that. We need some of those upperclassmen to uh, carry the ball for us. And, you know, with him and Franklin, uh, you, you start having those guys contribute on a consistent basis. And then you get some secondary with Michaelis and and some of the other guys that we've talked about, Brickley playing the way that he played this weekend, uh, elevating his game, uh, it makes a huge difference. Uh, the pass that uh, Michael Hunterbricker made on that first goal tonight. Um, a little bit <coughs> underrated, uh, the offensive side. He does so many things well. He's a 200-foot player, but um, he's pretty heady offensively as well, right? Real talented. He's He's gotten himself and made himself into a man. You know, he's 195 pounds. Uh, he can play a heavy game. Uh, you saw him tonight possess a puck, um, and 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 he does. He, he's got a history of being able to distribute a puck. We're always trying to get him to shoot a few more pucks um, because he can shoot it. He just doesn't do it enough because he's always looking to. He's selfless. He'll distribute it, and uh, you know you look at the last night's pass to Zeb to get him in all alone. Uh, he's got a creative mind, um, and I thought utilized his abilities this weekend.